So I'm here at Archangel Gallery on October 17, 2014 with Christopher Michael. That's me. You're one of the artists who's exhibiting. So tell me um, a little bit about your work as an artist, but also, I'm going to come over here, the light's better on you. Okay. But also, um, first tell me a bit about your work as an artist and then tell me about the paintings you have on exhibit here. My work in the, as an artist has changed drastically over 40 years. I veered off and did these elaborate headdress wall masks and then I went back to painting and then I did a line of exotic jewelry and then I went back to painting. This work in particular has been a spiritual journey as I've moved through my 12-step recovery. Most of these, well none of these here, but the paintings started when I got sober about 18 months ago and they moved through this whole thing because then my mother died. Um, in February, and the paintings were all about family, and nobody liked them, but that's okay. And then they moved on to this spiritual journey. This piece was inspired by, um, okay, um, it's, it's in the, the Getty Museum, we went to visit it. Um, it's called Christ's Entry into Brussels. Not ringing any bells? Okay. Um, it'll come to me. Uh, this is called Christ's Entry into Jerusalem, and that's Christ's Entry into Hell. It was not so much about Christ as a spiritual journey. For me, the third panel is not here, it's called Christ's Ascent into Heaven. And um, it's a, it's the painting, um, James Ensor is the artist, has inspired me when I was in art school. and. In, like 79 to 82 and I thought someday I'm going to capture that and it was the right moment and a group of us from recovery actually went to the Getty Museum to see this piece which is bigger almost twice the size of this wall it's just amazing and the intensity of the man he was also an alcoholic and really crazy um, I'm not really crazy he just controlled and when I finished that, I just realized I wanted to move into something lighter, casual, freer. I've always worked in this heavy intensity. And I did a group of paintings, of little test pieces. And this was the first. Uh, I, I wanted to work on genre scenes, but there aren't any in our life. There, there's no potato pickers, there's no washerwoman, there's no laundry woman, there's no flower vendors, all of those things that the painters, especially from Corot, who the impression is painted because they were scenes of daily life. So I actually went online and found a picture of her. She was a an old flower seller and I began to work in a looser sort of impressionistic style which I thought was impossible in acrylic and it isn't. And then I moved to this piece. Um, I started going back to synagogue uh, about a month ago and I really felt like I just wanted to do something after Caravaggio who was a master of light and he put all of the he put all of the emphasis in the light only where he wanted you to look the candle light it was it was a at that time it was a, a technique which he perfected and this was a, an incredible challenge to keep moving everything back move it back move it back so that only the highlight on her face from the candle showed up. There's another piece which isn't here that followed. And that's kind of the story of what's here and where my art has journeyed over the last 18 months. Cool, do you have an official website or how do people reach you? Um, if, they're, if, you're not, if they're not at a gallery where you're showing. They can contact the gallery. Archangel Gallery in Palm Springs. They can find me on Facebook under my real name, Christopher Michael. Okay, congratulations, Christopher. Thank you, Nicholas. I'm Nicholas Snow with a peek at some fine art.